In example two, we should notice that we do have three parallel lines. Let's only focus on two at a time. We'll take the top one and the middle one. If we were to extend these lines, we notice that the two parallel lines are in fact cut by a transversal. We notice that the measure of angle here was 60 degrees and this one here, which is 2x minus y degrees, are consecutive interior angles, meaning that they are supplementary. So 60 degrees plus 2x minus y equals 180 degrees, giving us 2x minus y equals 120. This is the first equation that we come up with. Now let's look at our bottom two parallel lines. We can extend these and notice that these lines are also cut by a transversal. And that the 40 degree angle and the 2x plus y degree angle are also consecutive interior angles, meaning they are supplementary. We get 40 plus 2x plus y equals 180. 2x plus y equals 140. We now have two equations with two variables. This is called a system of equations. There's a number of ways that you can solve. For example, you could take either equation 1 or 2 and solve for one variable and then substitute it into the other equation that you did not use. You can also notice that equation 1 has a negative y and equation 2 has a positive y, meaning we can set these equations up so that we add them together. If we add the equations, we get 4x, our negative y plus y cancels, equals 260. 4x equals 260. Now we can solve for x. Divide both sides by 4, and we find that x equals 65. We'll write that up here for safekeeping. Well, now that x equals 65, we can plug that value into either equation 1 or equation 2. I'm just going to use equation 2. It really doesn't matter either way. We have 2x plus y equals 140. 2 times 65 plus y equals 140. We have 130 plus y equals 140. y equals 10. And there are our solutions. For homework, or if you're working these out on a test, please do show all of your work, including both equations that you found and how you use those to solve for y and x. Okay, your homework example is a little easier than the one we just tried. In this example, I want you to find the value of x and y. The only thing you can assume is what you are given in the picture, and those are the two parallel lines as marked. A helpful hint, extend lines and look for two parallel lines cut by a transversal. We'll go over this example in class.